Okay, um, I received some magnets from, there are sample magnets from Austria Microsystems. Um, and these are the size of the magnets down here. They're six millimeter um, diametrically uh, magnetized. And then this is the size of a bolt I'm using as an encoder shaft. And what I did is I uh, milled out the top of the bolt just a little bit with a, a smaller hole than the six millimeters, just a little bit smaller, and then I forced the magnet into the head of the bolt. And then I, um, and I also um, milled a piece of plexiglass. This is a, the size of plexiglass I used here. And I drilled some holes through there, and then I milled out um, a section for the head of the bolt to, to fit inside. I'm not sure how well you can see that. I'll try to take some still pictures as well. And I also, um, even with this stiffer uh, mounting, the last digit still fluctuated quite a bit. So I added a, an averaging algorithm to average the you know multiple readings, and then uh, use the average as the output instead of um, every single reading it, 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 it reads. And as you can see, it's much more stable um, with both the more rigid mounting and the stabilizing algorithm. And it's possible to dial in just about any number, yeah, well, any of the numbers from zero to four thousand ninety-five. Um, by using this setup, and it's it's a it's a trick to get the exact number that you want, but it is possible. And I'll I'll do a little demonstration here as I rotate it. You can see how it changes. So that's going that's going down. We'll go back up. And there's a kind of a little bit of a delay because I have it averaging a lot of numbers. And so as you, if you turn fast, it will uh, take a little while to catch up. But of course, that could be, you know, adjusted with how many numbers you average. Okay, and it's still possible to, you know, have uh, some fluctuation if you're right between two numbers. But you can see it, you know, it goes from each digit. It goes pretty well, you know. Anyway, I think I'm pretty pleased with it so far. And this is just a three-wire SPI read-only. And now that I have my two encoders set up, the other one, um, um, the other one looks like it works a lot better when I use the averaging algorithm. But I can't tune it to the exact number I want. It's just too too much variation in it. But this one, I can tune it to any number I want. To, I can adjust it till I get the number I want. Um, and, but with the two of them, I can now work on the daisy chaining um, um, setup with the SPI. And that's it. Still using a quick start board to uh, read the, the device, the um, Austria Systems uh, AS5055 chip. And that's it for now.